Hello guys and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video and today we are on December right now so we actually have a little bit more of things that we need to talk and discuss so you can actually enjoy this um, this campaign here so for our further ado let's get started first we have our monthly gem quest on December now you have to use all these keyblades to actually go ahead and gain them and gain the um, gems to complete it. I'm stuck only on missing Alche. I'll do that later on. But between December 1 to De December 31st, you'll be getting varieties of power gems um, one power gem, two speed gems, and two magic gems. And you need to use a certain keyblade. You won't be able to use any friend metal. So this is all by your own, guys, by the, by the people who are free, um, that are new to this game. This is gonna be hard for you guys because. The bosses are actually very hard. I didn't have any spot for the Keyblade Miss Alchen, and that is the only thing that I have. The only, the other Keyblades, I didn't have any issues, but in this case, it's gonna be hard. So, one other thing that I want to talk about is the December Coliseum um, update. This is very awesome, guys. So, this month, who battles their way through the Coliseum can earn theirs of the Loose Waves and Side Ponytail. Actually, very good. Those who manage to battle their way to the top will also receive the following skill, Attack Boost 7, um, 8 Max and Lux Plus. Very awesome. It allows metal to deal 24 times and increases the... Okay. Special bonus this month, you also have the chance at obtaining 30 Power Gems, Speed Gems and Magic Gems each. Do not miss out this extra special Coliseum rewards. It's very awesome. You can view it, you can check it. There are also three bonus bars available. And then you have the special missions for December that in this case collect looks parts during this campaign above to earn the purple snow pup Actually very cute. I really want to go for it and black festival hat spirit parts very awesome as well You need to collect this amount of looks don't worry by going to the raid bosses You won't have any problem to get this as you collect looks collect your spirit parts from the limited tab and the mirror spell. Okay, we'll check that later and content support quests they are here the event will have 5 stages in total. Both new and seasoned Keyblades wielders are alike can collect boost medals in this challenge. Use them to enhance your attack medals and complete various challenges to earn rewards such as Hero and Duo and Louie, Magic Broom and Magic Mirrors. This is actually very awesome. I do actually want to go for it. Don't worry. It's very, it's very awesome. Then we have the weekly raid event. And in this case, fall on the party to defeat the Venom and Spider and the Venomous Men. So you are guaranteed to get the Magic Broom, Magic Mirror, Chip and Dale medals. You know, you don't have to miss that. So you can go ahead and do this as well. Then we have the Holiday Night Santa. This, I absolutely want to go for it. So look, you have those two awesome, you know, spirit um, outfits are very awesome. But the one that we want to check here, it's the rewards that we're getting here. So. You are guaranteed to get this, all the outfits as you show, that's been shown for girl and boy. But the skills that we have in our attack boost 8 max, attacks boost 7 max, and gotch 0 and defense boost 6. Very awesome. And then you are guaranteed to get a magic gem, 1 chip, 1 set, 1 chip, 6 magic mirrors, 6 magic brooms, and the title joy, and the one that says festival 9. Want to go for it? It's until December 25th and countdown challenge now keep an eye here enemies will appear with countdown in these 10 stages unpleasant surprise awaits if the enemy countdown reaches zero when the target goes to zero it will actually go and pull attack for the people who actually don't know about this you need to use metals that in this case will have to not increase it will increase the counter between three to four and count um, reaches to zero you're absolutely defeated so Keep that in mind, and well, uh, yeah, they actually made an update for this, so really, actually, very awesome for my end. We just go here for the medalist. I we already completed the Coliseum event, so we go to the Coliseum. I already got mine, um, skill gotch that in this case it should be here, attack boost 8 max and gotch 2. So I was on the max 200, um, 2050, uh, 1500, so I got it. And well, I'll be using this in the re Riku replica when I get my medal there. So that will be the situation, and let's go now to the quest. 
As we can see, we need to go ahead and check about the Colosseum one. I'm very interested in the Colosseum. So, we go to the Colosseum, and for Mike, and I got already have my tier rewards. The max that you can get is the Moon Gem. So I already got to that. So I don't think that I'm gonna receive anyone if I increase the tiers. And why am I actually there? Okay, I'm supposed to be here, but whatever. Then we got the Colosseum boards. As you can see, each time that you go to the Colosseum, you are guaranteed to get those ones. And if you go here, you'll be seeing that you will get normal ones, sets, Dale, Chip, um, Attack Plus, normal. I, for my kind of situation, I don't like those um, those things. They are just completely garbage for me. So I just skipped that. I didn't want it. But go for it. The chips and dales are very awesome. The chip and dales are very awesome. And that it will help you out to increase the attack and defense of your metals. So you need to go for these if you want to increase the power of your metals. Very, um, very powerful. And as well for the set. So set, whatever. Nobody cares about set. But there are so many chips and dales that I have here. That I'm going to save until Riku Replica will come. And as well as one of the, I don't know if I'm going to pull, I mean, as I say, I'm going to pull out for Kyrie, but I'm, I don't think that I'm going to increase it just for defense, because defense is very awesome. And we have the rewards. So my rewards right now, it's the 30 gems that we have here. Then we then I have the attack boost, 8 max and looks plus. So I really like that. Two chips, two tails, sets, and magic mirrors. So I actually go for my setup that in this case is this one. Kyrie, Shion, then I have the key art. Then I have Sephiroth, then I have the Riku, Kingdom Hearts 3, and lastly, Cloud. So, I don't know if this is a glitch or if this is happening, but I actually got the double multiplier. So, this is my setup. As I said, we have two strength, extra attack, and grounded enemy. The only thing that I didn't have was in this indeed aerial. So, I don't really like that. For Kyrie, just normal. I don't, I don't really care for Kyrie. Shin as well, just normally. Those are my just buffered ones, so I don't care. The ones that I'm worried it's about this one. I really have some awful traits with this, but I didn't have any jewels to increase it. Sephiroth is my powerful metal here. Two strength, one extra attack, one aerial, and gro one grounded enemy. So this is my backup for this. And lastly, we have Kingdom Hearts 3 Rico X. That in this case, I have grounded enemy, 60 extra attack, strength, damage in rate, and aerial uh, enemy defense. Uh, I didn't want to go for the extra uh, strength. It was pretty awesome, but damage in rate is not so bad. So that is my current setup. I'm just going to make one example about um, how do we need to pass this. And let's do the magic. As you can see, just the buffer metals will help me out to get a little bit of this. And this is the true pure damage that I have here. Then my Sephiroth attacks. Yay, 56k. Oh my god. Or 56 million, what you want to call it. Yeah, million. We're gonna talk about that. So, do not miss your opportunity in PvE. The, the rewards are absolutely outrageous, so you don't want to skip this opportunity. And you can go ahead and use it to increase the power of your metal. So, I totally recommend that right now. I think that I'll move on until I will get the Kyrie Kingdom Hearts 3. It's a fact that I'm gonna get that medal. And as I talked in my previous video, I hope that they don't actually use the VIP situation that you, and you need to buy the VIP in order to get a Mercy, a mercy Pool for Kyrie. and in this case, um, you get the double chances to get it. So, um, okay, what else do we have here? The Avatar boards, as, as I told you guys, the Avatar boards that we have, it's, okay, th those are those two. So, we have it here, both of them. You want to go for it? Don't go for it. It costs 200, 2.5k uh, of jewels, so you won't miss in that opportunity. And for last, all the chips and dales that you can get. I actually have like, I, I think that it was 25 each, but as I say, or 30, but as I say, you don't want to miss this opportunity. Defense at 150 and strength by 150. And for that, I increased the power of Terra North. Um, what other else that I have here? Oh, I had the increased defense of my cloud. That was one of my primary um, objectives. Then I have the reek of 900, 975. So you don't want to skip that opportunity. And lastly, I think that 
think that it was all, oh no, the Terra North that I, I, that I just mentioned, so, um, so don't just skip, skip this opportunity, I really like it, um, unfortunately we already skipped the AP Campaign Zero and, the um, XP gauge um, double increase and lower than a half of your money cost so that is over already so um, don't waste this opportunity I think that they're doing this because it's actually we're two months ahead of Kingdom Hearts 3 so I think that they made that decision so I think that it will be all I hope that I actually clear your doubts about this and beat the best on PvP the prices as I said it's very very awesome and outrageous even 30 um, for each magic, um, power, and speed, that will increase the power of your metals. So, yeah, you don't want to skip that opportunity to increase the power of your metals. Oh, about that, I need to increase the power of this one just on PvP. Oh, okay, increase the power of my Terra North. That's okay. So, yeah, you need to collect every Moon Gem, everything that you want to do here, and as well as Fenrir, you can level up here. You need Sun Gems. Drug of Midnight, oh, okay, I'll level up that as well, what, what will I increase the power? I actually do this on PvP, but, um, PvP will be, um, will be until the next week. Um, don't forget, for the next week, we will get, again, the No Heart second part, and I'm gonna do my best to trade, at least to get grounded enemy, or at least um, double cast. So um, don't skip that opportunity. I really like this boss. It's really awesome. So that will be all for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as I said, may your hearts be your guiding key. <laughs> Peace, guys.